Okay, so in this video we're going to look at something called empirical formula. Okay, and let's get a little box around this before we get going. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a definition for the empirical formula in, a, in another video. Okay, we're going to look at the, how you do the calculations today. So let's consider this question. Okay, so lead oxide contains 6.21 grams of lead, which is Pb, and 0.72 grams of oxygen. <clears throat> okay, and the question would be calculate the empirical formula for this. Okay, now I recommend you lay this out in a in a grid format. Okay, like this. So we have our lead, top of one column, oxygen at the top of the other. Okay, and the first thing we've got to do is take these values uh, that have been given to us in um, masses, so 6.21 and 0.72, and turn them into moles. Okay, so if you look at um, a video I've shown earlier, okay, to convert moles in, at mass into moles, no, moles into mass, we use this equation, N equals M over AR. Okay, and then <coughs> we start filling out this grid. So for the lead, we know the mass is 6.21, okay, and then we divide that by the relative atomic mass of lead, so you get your periodic table, look it up, look at the top number, okay, and you would find that for lead, that is 207, okay, stick that in your calculator, and that gives you a value of 0.03, okay, then you do the same for oxygen, 0.72 grams, the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. Okay, stick that in your calculator and you get a value of 0.045. Okay. To make this, so that's now the, that's the ratio in terms of mass. This is the ratio in terms of moles. Okay, so for every 0.03 moles of lead, I've got 0.045 moles of oxygen. So the challenge now then is to get this into a simple whole number ratio. Okay, that's the definition for the empirical formula, is the simplest whole number ratio of the elements uh, within a compound. Okay, so there's, there's lots of tricks you can hit, do here with maths. Okay, so at the moment, we've worked out that it's a 0 0.3, 0 0.03 to 0 0.045 ratio. Okay, now you can, there's all, sorts, so there's all sorts of things you can do. You can times by 100 and try and look for multiples. It depends on your math skill, right? My preferred method is that you that works for all examples is at this stage you divide by whichever one of these values is the smallest. Okay, and do the same to both sides. So in this case, this is the smaller value. So over here, this is what we're doing. Dividing by 0.03, okay, which is the smallest value. Okay, so 0.03 divided by 0.03 equals 1. Okay, and that's the reason we do that step, because one of our elements then becomes one. Okay, I'm going to do the same over here. 0 0.045 divided by 0 0.03. And that comes out at 1.5. Okay, so what we've got now then is a ratio of 1 to 1 1.5. Okay, to get this to be an empirical formula, we've got to make this a whole number ratio. Okay, so... We've got 1.5 here, so if we double both sides, okay, so if we times both sides by 2, so this is what we're doing, times them by 2, okay, we get uh, 1 times 2, which equals 2, and over this side, 1.5 times 2, which equals 3, okay, and that then is the simplest whole number ratio, so this is our ratio now, 2 to 3, okay, so that means... But in this compound, for every there's two leads for every three oxygens. Okay, so the last thing to do then is to write the actual formula. Okay, so the empirical formula equals Pb2O3. Okay, and that then is your final answer. Okay, so that's uh, calculations involving empirical formulas.